The U.S. Embassy in Ottawa and the U.S. consulates in Halifax and Calgary sponsored a Canadian speaking tour in December by LGBT activist and mountaineer Kaysen Crane. Kaysen, a 21-year-old student at Princeton University, spoke to Canadian audiences about the importance of surmounting one's own mountains by sharing the struggles that he faced and continues to face as an openly gay youth. During his tour, Kaysen detailed the origins of his Rainbow Summits project, an initiative to raise funds and awareness for LGBTQ youth suicide and crisis prevention services. Kaysen climbed the seven summits, meaning the highest peak on each of the seven continents. He is the fifth youngest and first openly gay person ever to do so. I was off climbing in, uh, in New Zealand and uh, I was on a mountain and I was like, wow, I love this. Uh, and not only that, but this is really difficult. You know, this is really hard. And it's actually a very similar challenge to the challenges I faced uh, growing up as an LGBTQ youth. And the strategies I employed were also very similar. So I had this thought, and so that's what sparked this, this connection. In your opinion, what do you think is the most important thing that we as a society should do to make LGBTQ youth, both those who have mental health issues and not, to feel more comfortable in society? That's a great question. And I think the answer is pretty simple. Um, I think what it really comes down to is communication. Uh, and I think that it's a very broad answer. But what I mean specifically is like, if you're an ally and you're an adult in a community, whether you're a teacher, whether, I mean, every, everyone interacts with young people. Hopefully everyone interacts with young people. Um, you know, and in whatever role, to make sure that you're very, very clear that you're an ally, that you are there to be a resource, to be supportive for other young people, uh, for young people. And if you're not an adult, if you're a peer, it's the same idea. You know, make sure that you tell your friends, be proactive about it. Um, you know, actually, and a very common question I get from my classmates uh, or from my friends is they'll, you know, they'll message me because I was always very open about my sexuality um, from a very young age. And they'll be like, Kason, like, I've got this best friend, like, he's such a great guy. And I mean, like, I know he's gay because you know this or that but we haven't talked about it how do I tell him that I'm totally cool with it um, and you know I say like in a case like this it just be open and commu like communicate um, and that's the best way you know don't push him like let him you know deal with it on his own timeline but just make it so explicitly clear so there are specific campaigns to help make this happen like uh, you know the ally card uh, just, I learned in Halifax about this Ally Card program done by the Youth Project. I think it's a great resource for any, if there are any Nova Scotia in the audience. Um, and so they actually give Ally Cards to community members, adult community members, just to really basically advertise that they are a resource and a, you know, a support uh, system for young people who need it. Uh, so it all comes down to communication. communication.